Here we go, here we go, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Greek is the Oedipus legend, updated and set in the East End. So it's a kind of Cockney Oedipus story. Based on the play by Stephen Burkhoff, we adapted the, uh, the text into a libretto. The function of mythology is that you go into a space and you know what the story is subconsciously because the collective consciousness is there like a kind of narrative eye cloud, you know? That's why so many uh, operas and plays are based on myth because they know the story before they've set foot in the theatre. You know, you're not a goody-goody, but you know right from wrong. Yeah. You know? And so that's really nice, but you're kind of blissfully unaware yeah. of your ignorance, and you rather enjoy it. Yeah. Theatre still has quite a long way to go in terms of uh, diversity, not just in terms of uh, racial and uh, gender uh, diversity, but also it's the prejudice that dare not say its name, if you like, which is class prejudice. So when you're dealing with subject matters like this, even in the theatre, you've got to be really careful. The, the expressionistic nature of the characters are kind of archetypical rather than stereotypical. But these are working class characters written by a uh, librettist and composer from that background, writer from that background. Um, so we're doing it from a place of love and admiration. And any kind of pissed offery we feel about, like aspects of our backgrounds, um, can find a kind of catharsis in that, rather than, crucially, it being a laughing at. So we really dislocated yeah, okay. it and we're doing yeah. the same movement. So we kind of abstracted it, establishing it, and then abstracting it. Let's yeah. just see what happens. What's great about doing it here at Grindborn is, is that kind of geographical uh, specificity, almost that kind of psychogeography, actually. This piece is, is very much coming out of the soil of this area. And that's very important to me because it's got far too posh Greek. It's sort of gone away from the original spirit of why we're doing this, you know, and what it's all about. And the fact that we're doing it in this area, it feels like the piece is coming home. It was born here and it's coming back here. <laughs> You, you, you look out of the, uh, of the window and the, the life of the play is happening. And I think that gives it a, a kind of deeper resonance somehow than if you're just doing something in a very comfy, sort of posh place with all sorts of blah blah going on and bells and whistles and everything. People will never have seen the Oedipus myth like this before. I can guarantee that. <laughs>